Okay. Um, thanks very much, Rachel. And thank you to everyone who's participated over the last two days. Um, we're now drawing to the end of the unconference part of the collaborations workshop before we go on to the um, hackathon part. Mm -hmm. And I think the first thing I would have to say is uh, it's gone really quite well. Um, I, I have been really, really impressed with how everyone has has managed to kind of participate and chat and talk with each other and share ideas and um, generally get at least some of that feeling that we get at the collaborations workshop of meeting new people and discussing um, challenges and, and finding solutions. I think uh, when I look at all of the different things we've discussed, it's clear that COVID-19 and the lockdown has influenced a lot of our ideas. Um, certainly around what are the, the, the kind of challenges, both for different types of people, research software engineers, data scientists, uh, in terms of addressing um, the, the current uh, needs and issues around COVID-19, um, but also around the way that we are now working in a different type of working environment. So a lot of the collaborative ideas were touching on different aspects of uh, working online, the challenges of onboarding new participants into existing communities, the challenges of trying to get a message out when you can no longer walk along up to someone and tell them about it. Um, but I think a lot of the, the things that have been discussed also reflect the problems we face today that were there before um, we went into lockdown. So as, as have been highlighted by our wonderful keynote talks, there's all sorts of um, issues around managing legacy code, um, including code that suddenly becomes famous for one reason or another, uh, synthetic data, reproducibility. Uh, it's, it's all things that we have been talking about and trying to, trying to address um, for, a, for a few years now. But I think the key thing that came out for me, um, looking across all of the work that people have been doing, is that this has all been around ingraining practice. There's, there's been some great examples of this uh, in the discussion sessions and the collaborative ideas sessions about different ways in which we can get a message out and persuade, persuade people to change the way they're doing things so that in the long run, uh, we get more reusable science and research. So I think um, that is the main message of the collaborations workshop is how we ingrain that practice. And I think it's, it's a large part of what all of you are doing in your own communities. So it's really great to see um, so many solutions proposed that will help us do this. And so, um, I guess here we go on to the bit that everyone's been waiting for, which is the um, announcement of the prizes and who won um, on the collaborative ideas. Um, I am now looking towards um, Shweb to kind of go, am I just reading them straight off the spreadsheet? Yes. I'll take that. I'll yes. take that as a yes. Yes. <laughs> um, so going in reverse order uh, with 18 votes each in third place, uh, we have uh, the amazing group two, I might be biased, um, with their idea of conferencing 3.0, uh, ensuring equality for in-person and online participants, and a group four who were uh, dealing with legacy code. So well done those two groups. Give them a virtual round of applause. Uh, and then in second place, uh, possibly with the best named uh, idea, our group 10 um, with RSE2D2, um, a Twitter bot for um, handling research software um, uh, questions. So well done, group 10. But the runaway winners with 26 votes uh, were group nine, who developed the idea of storyboarding sustainability, um, a way of helping to persuade um, 
PIs and other important people that all of this is really important. So uh, big congratulations to uh, group nine. Yay. And uh, as, um, as Rachel has uh, said, and as Shoaib has said, uh, we will get your prizes out to you once the Manchester <laughs> Finance Office reopens. Um, but thank you so much and know that you were all great and all of the ideas that, uh, that you produced um, are amazing. So um, we're now kind of going into the wrap up for this part of the day. Um, I'm going to hand over to um, Rachel very soon, um, but I just wanted to first add my um, my message of thanks to everyone who's been involved in running this. Uh, as you may know, we only made the decision to convert this from being a in-person unconference to a virtual unconference about three weeks ago. <laughs> it seems a long time since then. Uh, and running an unconference is difficult at the best of times. Um, having to shift this to a virtual unconference um, with three weeks notice is, uh, I think, a, a Herculean effort. And I would like to thank everyone who's been involved in this, everyone who's, who's um, provided their time and their effort, um, especially to, to Rachel, who's really been a superstar. So thank you, Rachel. Uh, and now I'll hand over to you. <laughs>